guys, welcome back. So, today we are going to be in Psalms 36. So, this psalm is written by King David, and, is a, and it talks about God's faithfulness, justice, and love. So, we're not going to be looking at the whole thing, because it's kind of long. <coughs> Sorry. We're going to be looking at Psalms 36, 5 through 9. So it says, Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O God. People take refuge in the shadows of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. <clears throat> so, in contrast to evil people and their wicked plots, that end in failure, God will triumph. He is faithful, righteous, and just, even when we think he is not. Because I, I know, at least for me personally, there have been times that I haven't felt him there and I have felt like something that's going on in my life wasn't just or that he wasn't there. Um, and so, but he's always there. His love reaches to the heavens. His love is endless for us. There is no bounds to how much he loves us. His faithfulness reaches to the skies. He will never leave or forsake us. One of my verses is, one of my favorite verses is, God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. And he means that. Even when it seems like he's not there, he is. He will never leave us, and he will never forsake us. His righteousness is as solid as a mighty mountain, and his righteousness is what God sees when he looks at us. His judgment, his judgments are as full of wisdom as the oceans with water. We need not fear evil people or ourselves sometimes because we can be evil because we know God loves us, judges evil, and will care for us throughout eternity. We can all be evil. We can all be, we all sin. We can all think of evil plots. But God is there. He loves us, and He will show you the way if you just let Him. So in verse 7, it talks about God's priceless, unfailing love. His love is unfailing no matter what you do, say, or think. God will always love you. It's priceless because you can't put a price on His unfailing love. You just can't. It's one of the most treasured things, at least for me, is that His love is unfailing. You can't do anything that will change His love for you. In verse 9, the vivid image of the fountain of life gives us a sense of fresh, cleansing water that gives life to spiritually thirsty people. In Jeremiah 2.13, God is called the spring of living water. And again in John 4.14, 4, Jesus spoke of himself as living water that could quench thirst forever and give eternal life. God loves us so much that he does not want to be separated from us. And that is why he sent Jesus as a bridge between him and us. God's love is unfailing. Jesus is the bridge from us to God. It says that 
he sits at God's right hand and prays for us and tells God about us. His love is unfailing. That's like, that's the greatest reassurance I can give you is that no matter what you're going through right now or what you're going to go through or what you have been through, God's love has always been there for you. God has always been there for you. His love is unfailing and He will never leave you. You can't get rid of Him. But He will let you choose. He gives us free will and He's not going to force Himself on you. He's not going to force His believing in Him on you. You have to choose it for yourself. It's up to you whether you choose conditional love from people around you or you choose unconditional love from Him. It's your choice. But just remember that God's love is unfailing and that He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is always there for you. So, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow.